Hello and welcome to another beginner HIIT workout. So this is the second workout in my program. Okay, so this is the last one of the beginners, but then I'm going to be doing intermediate and advanced. So let's just begin with some head rolls. And back the other way. Okay, and now just some twists. So it's going to be the same as the last time. So 35 seconds on, 25 seconds rest. Okay, we're going to do five, just some hip circles, five um, exercises, and then we're going to do that twice, and then we'll go on to circuit two. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to stretch over. Okay, so. Um, knee bent over ankle, not toes. You should feel a stretch on the inside of your leg there. If you don't feel it, then kind of go down a bit further. And swap. And again. Keep going. And last one. Okay, and we're just going to do one more exercise, one more warm up. So onto the floor. Uh, you're going to come into a 90 degree angle um, and a 90 degree angle for your other leg as well. Okay, so just stretch down as far as you can go, even if it's just to there, that's fine. Just so long as you're feeling that stretch in your hips. And the other side. Now again, I can't emphasize enough how important this stretching is. So you need to take the time. It's just a couple of minutes. <coughs> and last time. But it could be the difference between you having an injury after or not. Okay, good. So up we come. So we're going to start in about 30 seconds. The first um, exercise that we're doing is just walking on the spot. Okay, walking or marching. If you want, you can put in a bit of a hop into it. Otherwise, you're just marching. Your knees are going up. Okay, make sure you're bringing them up. It seems easy, but it's actually going to be quite tiring by the momentum of bringing your um, legs up. Okay, so grab a quick drink. And we're going to start, let's get my timer ready, in 10 seconds. Okay. Turn off. Okay, so off we go. So march. Find swinging my arms helps helps me to get my knees up. Okay, so when you go into the intermediate and advanced, you will be going into a um, more higher cardio rate, okay? Whereas if you if you have a watch, like a, a Fitbit or an iWatch, okay, just take a break, um, or a Galaxy watch, then you're going to, you can track the fat burn or the cardio and you'll find that there's more of a uh, fat burn for the beginners whereas the higher up you go it's more cardio okay but they're both really good depending on what you're looking to do okay so next we're just going to do some lunges so lunge back okay if you can't get that far down then that's fine just keep your um, stance Correct, okay, so make sure your knee doesn't go over your toes. If you can though, get down to the bottom. Okay, press 
this again. Right, the next one, round the floor. And for this, we're doing tricep dips. Okay, so your hands are facing in towards your legs. What you're going to do, lift yourself up slightly, and then you're going to go down. So you're going up and down. Now, if you can, okay, if you can, keep your um, bum off the floor. If not, then you can go down and up and then bring it down and then keep going like that. Okay, so this is for the triceps and you tend not to use the triceps very much in your exercise unless you target them specifically. Okay, but it helps to tone your arms, to strengthen your arms. And the intermediate and advanced, you're going further up and rest. Okay, so we're staying on the floor for the next exercise. We're going to do a plank, but we're doing it from the knees. Okay, so you're going to stay on your knees and you're going to lift yourself up for onto your elbows. You need to make sure that you keep a straight back. Okay, don't put any sort of arch into it. Right, so you're keeping a straight back when you breathe in and you breathe out, tuck your stomach in more. Okay, so you're engaging your abs. Whether you're on your toes or on your knees, so long as you're engaging your abs, you're getting a good workout of them. So every time you breathe in and out, tighten your stomach more, tighten your abs and relax okay good so we're on to the last one of this round we're up again and we're simply just going to do some courtesy lunges okay so you're crossing your leg behind your other leg and then you're doing a bit of a lunge into it okay so off we go Try to get it behind your leg, okay? So you're actually crossing over quite well. If you can't go down that far, then it's fine to just stay up a bit, okay? So long as you're getting in a bit of a lunge and you're moving, that's all that matters. Okay, great. So we're gonna take about 35 second rest. Grab some water, towel off if you need to. And we're gonna go back into those marches, okay? Whew. Right, so get, get your breath back again. Okay, like I said, it's, it's uh, still a cardio workout because of everything that you're doing, you're causing your heart rate to go up to send oxygen around your body to help it um, deal with these new exercises and new things that you're doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna start again in 10 seconds um, with matching and go. Okay, so remember, keep your knees up. Remember, you can do the little hop if you want, if you feel like you can. But what I'd say is always start with the harder one and then bring it down again. Okay, so if you do find that you're getting a bit tired, you can bring it down to just walking fast, okay, with your knees not coming as high. But always begin with the harder one and then work down, okay, and break, okay. So next one we have the lunges, okay, again with that, start by going as far down as you can and if your legs start to get tired, then you can just stay up a bit higher but still going down a bit, okay. So 
last time the second circuit was boxing okay this time it's not this time it's just a bit similar to this circuit okay so we're doing just different exercises that get our heart rate up that get us building strength in our body okay it's all about doing short bursts of exercise followed by a short break so that it's easier to, to do. Right, okay. So we're back down onto the floor for the tricep dips. <coughs> At the beginning of this video, you'll see that the, um, the beginning shot is actually the exercises that um, we're doing today. So. If you see them, then you know what ones, if you like any of them, what you can do. Okay, so remember to lift yourself up a small bit if you can. I think people tend not to have as much confidence in themselves of what they're able to do. So if you don't think that you can keep yourself lifted up, then give it a go. Okay, you might surprise yourself. Keep breathing, remember. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And breath. Okay, so a lot of people hold their breath when they're doing exercise because they're concentrating on the exercise and, and just getting that done. And then when it's finished, they go, oh God, I need to get my breath back. But if you're breathing all the way along, you find it much easier. Right, so we're into the plank now. Remember, from your knees and come up. Okay, remember, straight back, flat back. Tuck in your stomach, tuck in your glutes. If you have a mirror or anything like that close to you, um, or a reflection of anything, then have a look into it to see if your um, back is straight. Okay. Remember breathing and when you breathe out, bring your abs in, tighten your abs more. And rest. Great. Okay, up we get. So for the last one of this first circuit, um, courtesy lunges. Okay. Now you see, I don't have a huge amount of space, but I'm still managing to get down and still managing to travel. Okay, so you don't need a huge amount of space to be able to do it. And down. If you, do, if you don't have as much space, then you could just go down. You don't need to step as far over. Okay. There's always um, alternatives that you can do that don't need the... They, can, they don't need as much space, so you've no excuse not to do the exercises. And great. Okay, so we're going to just take a rest again. But what we're going to do, just like the last exercise, we're going to do um, an active uh, breathing session, okay? So we're going to do our sun salutation again. So breathe it in. Hands up and out and down, try to touch the floor, breathing in, arms to your legs, flat back, breathing out, step back, step back. We're going to go again with our knees down, chest down, chest up, tuck your toes in, sit back in your knees and up into downward dog. Take a few breaths there. Okay, down onto your knees and sit back into child's pose.
and up we come. Okay, great, right, so we're just going to take um, about 30 seconds of break and then we're going to start again. Okay, so we're going to start with the next round. Okay, and we're going to start with crunches. Okay, so we're going to go again in 10 seconds. So we're down on the floor and just simply up. Breathing out as you go up. Now you should be able to just let your head um, just go loose, okay, to show that it's not your head that's bringing you up, it's your abs, okay. So you should be squeezing those abs when you're coming up and making sure that you don't have that arch in your back as you go down. And good, okay, up we get so. So we're going to do now some tricep curls, okay, if you have some light weight then you can use them, otherwise you're just going to use the, the weight of your arms, okay, just to bring it in, okay. So we're going to be going kind of slowly and you're just going to pulse when you get in, okay, so you're going to pulse, two, three, four, five, and out, and in, two, three, four, five and in two three four five okay so you can count yourselves and breathing out breathe in and out okay so the little pulsing helps to activate your arms a bit more and rest. okay good so the next one we're going to do is you're going to, well, you can turn to the side if you want. I'm going to turn to the side just to show you. Okay, so you're going to bring your back down, okay, almost flattening it, keeping it flat, but you're not going all the way down. Okay, and you're going to be bringing in your arms like this and bringing them back one at a time. Okay, so clench your fists, okay, clench them to, um, put a bit of resistance into your arms okay so this is a good one if you have some light weight you can do okay the more intermediate and advanced is using the two arms at once whereas the beginner the beginner one is good to have the um uh, alternative alternating arms so that they you get a bit of a rest from each one okay good so the next one we're going to do is just knees up and cross, okay? So it's not, um, there's no jumping involved in this, it's just simply up and across. That's what we're going to say in 10 seconds. So you should be practicing, okay, let's go. You should be practicing these two beginner workouts so that your body is getting used to um, the type of exercises so that when you go on to the intermediate and the advanced you've, uh, you've hit the targets for your beginner workout so that you find it much easier to then do the intermediate and advanced. Okay, good. So the last one, okay, you're going to be moving to this side, but you're going to be stepping, and now there's a bit of a hop in this one, okay? So you're stepping and you're swooping up, okay? Stepping and swooping up. Your back should be straight, so you should be looking up, okay? You should be looking at me the whole time, but you're bringing your hands down so they kind of swoop off the floor okay and you bring yourself across okay so make sure you're getting down into that squat and moving over if you can't go down as far that's fine okay 
you can just keep it in like this but if you can down and up down and up good okay great so another 35 seconds um, and then we're going to go back into circuit two standing with your crunches okay just give yourself a break so uh, a lot of people have asked me about my leggings okay because I wore them in a different video and so I decided to wear them again and kind of promote them a bit more okay so these are just strong these are from a just just strong company okay and I'll put their link uh, underneath this video and they are really good because they're looking at the community of women and bringing women together as a community and um, I've been putting on like a Facebook page and just reading the stories of what women have gone through and the strength that they've managed to gain through exercise, through fitness, through nutrition. Okay, it's really inspiring and so that's why I'm a big promoter of this company um, but I do have a 10% discount code so if you look online and you like their clothes just send me a message and I'll give you the code for it because I, I like supporting things that have a good cause um, and I think that the promotion of uh, well-being through different means and through the supporting group then I think that's really good um, and that's something that I, I feel really strongly about. Okay, so we're going to go again in 10 seconds. So we're on the crunches again. And up. Remember breathing out. Remember. Your head can be loose, your arms can be loose because they're not bringing you up, it's your abs. And good, up we get so. So the next one we're doing is tricep curls with the pulses, okay? So a lot of people who know me would be very surprised that I'm doing these sorts of videos, but it, I'm, I'm on a journey, okay? I'm on a journey of my own for my own um, physical and mental health, okay? So pulsing, three, four, five. And I found that eating better, exercising okay they've helped me and during this time of lockdown I think a lot of people need that inspiration and it's quite good to see people's strength and what they you can overcome any sort of um, sadness or like physical uh, weight addition okay uh, that you might have put on over time or like the pressure okay from from work that a lot of people have had during this time so I, I want to show people that you can overcome it okay and showing people how I've overcome it to help other people um, to overcome it in that way as well okay so we're doing the alternating arms back so back straight and one at a time okay clenching your fists Breathe in all the time. Okay, good. And rest. Okay, so you can easily put on some music if you want and do this workout to it but obviously I don't have any copyright 
um, of any music so unless someone wants to come up with uh, some music that they send to me to allow me to play in the background um, then I'll have to hold off on that okay so if the knees up and across but sometimes having music it's it's quite fun to work out with or if you work out with someone else and that's quite fun okay keep up those knees keep your back straight and rest great okay so we're on to the last one so we're doing the stepping sideways and up okay so you're a bit of a squat and up or if you can't get in the squat then you're just kind of hopping over sweeping over okay but try your best to get down and sweeping your fingers off of the floor okay down if you can't do the hop then that's fine just bring it down and step Okay, but if you can, bring in the hop. So I hope your heart rate has come up a bit. I hope you're feeling a bit more energised now for the rest of the day. Great, here we go, done. Okay, so we're going to do cool down now, just a quick cool down. So we're going to stretch over to the side, get your breathing back, get your breath back, and you're going to go flat back and stretch down. Okay, touching your toes, go into the center. Over to the other side, touching your toes. Flat back. And up and stretch over to the other side. Okay, and just bring your arms across. Okay, so the next one I'm doing my intermediate video. And for that intermediate video, I'll just bring it to the other side then I'm going to be going back to the first beginners workout and I'm going to be developing from that okay so I think the first one we did was the um, jumping jacks okay so I'm going to be developing it from that again okay so if we just come down just stretch out okay you can reach up and back and other side And back okay and just to finish off we're going to do another sun salutation followed by some breathing okay so breathe in and out flat back down touching the floor breathing in arms on legs breathing out step back step back knees down chest down and you're coming up into upward dog upward dog toes tucked in sit back it on your knees and up into downward dog take a few breaths here and just pedal your feet now continue breathing but you're just pedaling your feet stretching those muscles out Okay, knees down, and you're just going to come down to child's pose. And come up, okay, so if we stand up, okay, we're just going to bring one arm up, and down, bring to a fist, the other one up. 
both arms together. Hands to chest centre. Just hold her there for a second. And done. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you the next day for an intermediate um, hit workout.